Welcome to ANN7. Can you explain to us what a tarot card reader does and what the process is for reading cards? Okay, um, basically you have a packet of 78 picture cards. Mm -hmm. um, I just ask a question and I draw some cards regarding the question and they, they give me the answer. Okay, so we can start off with what do you see for South Africa in 2014? You know what, I think it's going to be a bit of a tough year. Um, the first three months of 2014, there might be a lot of violence and, um, you know, things can get a little bit intense. But after June, it shows that uh, things are going to improve a lot. Everything starts improving after June, July. How, how do you foresee, when you say that there will be violence, do you, is it quite specific? Or it's is not it, specifically okay. South Africa, it is worldwide. It's worldwide okay. that there could be a lot of conflicts and things okay. uh, just being disrupted. Um, a lot of secrets that's been hidden is going to start coming out. People will, they're going to get themselves into trouble and they're going to be caught out and it's going to cause friction between others, you know. Okay, uh, how is the country going to do without former President Nelson Mandela? I don't see any problems. I really don't. I think it's going to do well. And the elections, how do you see those turning out? I don't see that being a big problem either. Um, that also looks as though it's going to have a very positive outcome. I, I can't tell you who's going to come in and who's going to win, but I don't see any major problems coming up with the elections. Okay, that was going to be my next question. Okay. How are the ANC and the DA, which are two our leading party and our opposition? I think the ANC might um, lose some seats, but mm -hmm. they're not going to lose a lot. They're still going to be around. <laughs> and the new kid into the entry market, the economic freedom fighters and Julius Malema, what do you foresee for them? You know what, I, I didn't check that one. Let me just draw some Fantastic. cards and let's see what it shows me. Um, you know, he certainly keeps people entertained, I'll tell you that. Um, I, there's, there's nothing really bad coming up here either, but I don't see him becoming the, the top, um, what do you call them, party in the country. Okay, mm, so don't. unfortunately if the FF members are watching, that's not good news for them. Is it possible to show us the cards or is that quite a yes, private no, thing? Yes, no, of course, of I yours. can show you. Um, well, shall I just lay them on the table here for you? Uh, this is my own pack that I, I drew. And what do the different symbols on the table mean for Julius Malema in regards to the question? Okay, well, basically it shows, um, you know, it shows <clears throat> the way Julius Malema is, the way he comes across, he's, he kind of, you know, gets everybody hyped up and mm -hmm. he, he can get a crowd going, that's yeah. for sure, okay? And it shows he has success in his own way, but okay. it doesn't say to me it's such major success that he okay. will take over everything. Okay, and how many cards normally do you draw out to interpret a question? Normally 10, but when I just draw it myself, I just draw until I see the answer. So if I did need some more, I would draw some more cards. Okay, um, still staying on politics, newcomers, Akhan. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you can draw cards. Okay, yes, no, I'll draw, I'll draw some cards for them as well. You see, they also not too bad, but not, not a major player in the future. Okay, um, with regards to the economy in the last year, 2013 has seen a lot of strikes, a lot of wage protests. Mm -hmm. How do you see that going forward in 2014? Um, th you know, that might be the area, like as I say, between um, January and March, that they might have some difficulties with that. But they're going to sort things out. Eventually, everything gets resolved in a positive way. Okay, let's move on to something South Africans are quite passionate about, sports. Let's deal with Bafana Bafana first. How is our national soccer team going to do in 2014? I actually see quite nice cards coming up for them. Wow. I don't know much about sports, so I'm only okay. answering what I, what I see in the cards. I don't yeah. see bad cards coming up for them. Okay, and the Springboks, our national rugby team. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put these back now. now. Um... I see, um, you know, I see some problems around the spring box. I don't know if it might be involving players or um, it says there are some problems there that also needs to be sorted out. They're going to be under a lot of pressure. Are there any big games coming up? I think I'm the last person to ask. Oh, sure. okay. <laughs> um, so yeah. I think they could be under some pressure. Um, okay. Yeah. So there's a little bit of problems around the spring box. Okay, and the Proteas without Jacques Cullis, how are they going to fare? I 
I think initially they're going to battle a bit, but then they also seem to work everything out. They're also going to do okay. There's not really bad cards there either. Okay. Um, just to return to the actual art of tarot reading, how did you get into it and how did you learn or study what you know? Um, my grandmother used to do teacup reading, so I also wanted to be able to see into the future, mm -hmm. and I couldn't, I still can't, um, do teacup readings. And mm -hmm. I basically taught myself and then went on to designing my own pack, mm -hmm. and it kind of makes it more personal, and I've been doing it for 22 years. Wow. So you kind of learn as you go as well. And then having a gift like that where you can, where people can ask you things and you can see quite deeply personal things, mm. how does it affect you personally? Um, I mean, do you... Not at all. Okay. I, I kind of cut my sh myself completely off from... I, in the beginning it did used to affect me, mm -hmm. um, but I'm just so used to it now, it's like second nature to me. Okay. What happens in an instance where you have a client who you can predict something quite gruesome mm. for? I mean, do you have to be quite sensitive in telling I'm them? Very, you have to be okay. very sensitive and I'm very, very careful how I put news across. I don't just give it to them in a bad, nasty way or, you know, mm -hmm. and I kind of get a feel. If, if I see that they're not going to be able to take a direct message, then I will work around it a little bit and, you know, give it to them in a way that they'll work it out when it happens. Okay, mm -hmm. and then there are a small group of people who believe that things such as tarot card reading and other things which are considered esoteric are evil mm -hmm. or ungodly. What do you, what's your response to that and what do you feel your gift is with this? I think everybody's entitled to their own opinion and um, I have no problem with people that have any objections mm -hmm. and I respect them for that, it's mm -hmm. fine. Um, but you know what, I help a lot of people. A lot of people come to me with serious dilemmas and they walk out there with answers. Everybody has the answers within them and the cards kind of just help bring it alive and confirm their thinking. Okay, so we're going to move back to news and international news. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you need to get your cards I'm back. I'm just going to put them all back okay. again. Yes, sure, but go ahead. First thing, international news. I mean, you spoke about a general thing of violence for the next three, three uh, months. first three months mm -hmm. of the year. Can you elaborate more on that using the cards? Um, okay, you know, it looks as though a lot of it starts in the Middle East areas. Okay. So I don't know, um, but let me just draw some cards. I won't be, you see, the thing with tarot is you can't be specific and say where exactly. Okay. Okay, um, I can kind of see that things will, systems and um, situations will, will fall apart and crumble, but because of that happening, a lot of good will come out of it. It's almost as though it's a necessary cleanup okay. that takes place. So whatever seems bad at the time, actually is gonna be for the better afterwards. And then can we predict any good news for both South Africa and internationally? You know what, I think South Africa really and truly we, we going in the right direction. The thing, things will improve. Violence doesn't improve yet. Um, violence is still a problem this year. Finances are also going to take a bit of time before we start seeing, you know, feeling happier and being, manage things a bit better. But um, I think South Africa is going to do very well. I really and truly do. I do see the RAND having a bit of a problem. The RAND is going to weaken a bit this year. Okay. Yeah. Can we, um, you said that you can see violence. Can we kind of elaborate on that or can you tell us more about maybe what kind of violence? I know we've been having a spate of child murders. Child and murders still the... comes up. Um, it's not something that's, you know, they're not going to do anything radical about that at the moment to, to stop that from happening. It's mm. still in the cards. It's actually been coming up for some time and um, eventually that will, they do do something. They, take, they, they, they clamp down on people, but okay. that is not soon. Good I news. only see that being towards the, September. After September that they start looking at this and thinking, no, something has to be done here. Okay, and you said we're also going to struggle with the economy mm. and the rent. Can Finances. we just expand, expand on that? And is that as a country as a whole, or is it too down to most individuals in South Africa? Um, it's a, I would say as a country as a whole, but a lot of individuals are going to, the people that have had it hard are going to have it a bit harder. It's not going to be the easiest year. Okay, uh, e-tolls? E-tolls, you know? let's <laughs> ask. I didn't think about e-tolls. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
let's see what this shows me. Are South Africans going to, or Johannesburgers rather, going to start paying the e-tolls? Is there going to be know, any drama I, around there's that? There's still drama. There's definitely still drama. Okay. Um, either way, it says to me that even though there will be a lot that will pay, there is still going to be people that don't want to pay, and there is definitely opposition with mm. it. I don't see this getting resolved too easily, too quickly. Okay, if people want to contact you for your services as a tarot card reader, how can they do that? They can call me on my cell phone. Um, mm -hmm. I've got a landline number as well. Can I give you the cell you phone number? Give us okay, it's 082 909 2111, and the landline is 011 704 3745. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you very much for coming in to speak to us and Pleasure. giving us your predictions for South Africa for 2014. Thank you. That was Ursula Vanya speaking to us about her predictions as a tarot card reader for South Africa in 2014.